I love guinea pigs so much. I really want one so bad. They're so cute and adorable. Oh, he has the one too. It's a new one, but they're improving. They're not meant to. See? Full thing. And, uh, they're not rubbery anymore. So. good. And this dude belonged with the Warrior Series by Ear Hunter, which is actually four people, I believe. Four or five. I think it's four. And they make Warrior Series. They're so much good. And so, if you don't know what the Warriors are, it's a nice giant long book series about these uh, cats that live in wild lands and they have to fight for survival and stuff. So, yes, I was inspired by these two to make my own book and uh, yeah, I'll just read what I have so far, I suppose. I'm not good at writing prologues, okay? so. So I'll read the prologue thing. Um, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm not gonna even completely sure what a prologue means. I'm pretty sure it's just like before the story or something. Uh, I don't know. That's important in a book. Okay, so the prologue is. There's too strong! Philistine tried to bite the collector of tree herds. The two herds of wild guinea pigs had been fighting for hours, of which felt like restless days. Bramley, the alpha male of Skyherd, ordered his herd to retreat. He was not one to risk the lives of others for something so little. Treeherd chirped victoriously as they claimed their new land and began grazing on what used to be Skyherd's grass. Survival for these animals was no easy task. Okay, that's kind of bad. Ungogada da. And then. There are par there are paragraphs in here. For some reason, it's just hard to see for me. I don't know. Okay, chapter one. Winifred. <laughs> Winifred. Winifred. Your name's Winifred. Yes. Okay. So this is Winifred. He look. He's. He looks exactly like this. Okay. Just. He's the guy. Okay. Winifred bowed his head and ate his meal of dry pulp. The pet store was cold and dark as it was closed for the night. Winifred, Winifred scratched his head with his foot as he glanced around outside of his cage. He saw the faint shape of the mice running on their wheel. The noise had kept him awake, as it could be heard through the glass with his tiny, sensitive ears. He had eyes on the side of his head. He could see practically everything just by sitting and eating in one direction. The snakes were below him, and they scared Winifred whenever he thought of what they could do to him if they somehow find their way into his cage. Found found their way into his cage. He shook the thought off and turned his attention to the birds that were sleeping soundly and preening their feathers. They were the loudest of all. The young of the thumb ones okay, so they call in warriors they call humans two legs, so I'm calling them thumb ones because they have thumbs. Thumb ones love okay. the young of the thumb ones love to scare. Oh wait, whoa, no, I went in the wrong way. He shook the thought off and turned his attention to the birds that were sleeping soundly and preening their feathers. They were the loudest of all. The young of the thumb ones love to scare them, and they always let out a shriek of alert and fear. Suddenly, a loud stomp of boots made the guinea pig jump, and he turned to see a thumb one approaching his cage with something in its paws. Yep, and that's 
Oh my god. It's the game Dave just said. Okay, so he's a short. Winifred is a short baby. Okay. And I am Greg. And then I have two little Disney characters that I've made. And I don't have a figure of another one because, yeah. <laughs> I'm just inspired by you. But he's a gray, grayish blue, kind of like blue star, if you know what that is in this book. And, uh, um, uh, he's like that. And then, I'm, s I'm still thinking of a name for him, but he's just a long haired guinea pig. And I like to think that he has hair and you can't really, like, you can't see his eyes or anything. Yeah. So he's adding a new guinea, the human's adding a new guinea pig to the enclosure. Mm. Yeah. And Winifred's not really used to other guinea pigs. So, yeah. Hope you enjoy this. Probably you didn't because it's so bad. And I'm only 11. But I'm getting used to book development being alone. Okay. You can't stand up because your head, if you were real, your head would be crushing your neck right now. And you wouldn't be able to do it. But I guess physics don't apply to uh, Little's Pet Shops. Yeah. Thanks for watching if this whole video.